What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got for you some snowboarding gym exercises that you can do year round. So it's really important we keep our training up so when the season gets here, we're not starting from scratch. Also, make sure you stay tuned. If you can't tell, there's some differences behind me and you'll see when we're filming, we're getting ready to actually leave this gym or moving to a new one. So starting next week, um, if you guys like those day in a life videos, um, make sure you check back in next week because we're gonna be posting one and showing um, our new gym. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and thank you for watching. In no particular order, we are starting off with trap bar. So you guys know how much I love trap bar, an amazing exercise for lower body and for core without having to load the spine. So big thing here that I tell people, kind of just sit back, right? Sit back, squat down, make sure you keep a big torso, don't collapse. This is a great exercise, full lower body stability, especially posterior chain. Great way to build strength, maintain strength, do some power stuff with it. Next up, we got a single leg RDL. So really you can do anything. I just wanted to get a hip hinge um, movement, but I love a single leg RDL because it also works that stability aspect. So one leg hip hinge, you're just gonna go down until you feel it in your hamstring. You don't have to reach all the way to the ground. I tell my clients and our athletes, just go until you feel it, at which point reverse it. Big thing too, push your hips backwards or back and your torso will fall accordingly, right? I'm not reaching, I'm here. Grab the ground with your toes, drag your knee out, squeeze your butt, just push your hips back. You'll feel it in your hamstring. Um, keep your core tight. If you need to hold onto a wall, you can, or you can just drop to double. When you get proficient at that, you can go single leg. Number three, we got rear foot elevated split squat. So this one's brutal, but I absolutely love it. Um, so you're gonna get, uh, I'm just using a bench now, bench, box, whatever you want. You're gonna put one foot back on it. You're gonna squat down. You wanna get about 90 degrees at your knee. I'll show you this side. You want about 90 degrees here. You load it up in the glute, drive here. Full extension at the top, right? We don't wanna cut it short like this. We want all the way up. Really drive. I love this exercise because unilateral training is super, super important. And once again, it works stability. So great exercise. If you can't do this yet, you can also do this holding on to something um, to get better at it and then you can drop or then you can um, advance to this one. All right, we're staying on bench. We are doing um, a bird dog row. So I'm doing full body because it is really important to train full body, um, even for uh, snowboarding when you would think that it's for, uh, predominantly lower body. And you would be correct, it is, but we need to make sure that we have strength everywhere. God forbid we fall or whatever happens. Um, and also it's important to train your entire body. So I love doing any type of row variation, but I specifically chose this one because it's a lot of core strength and stability. You'll notice that repetitive theme of stability involved. So we're gonna be here, we're gonna be push, uh, pushed up on our toes, core stays tight, really squeeze your glutes, don't let your knees cave in. Sorry, don't mind uh, my notepad. We're gonna be here, and all you're gonna do is just drive your elbow back. So you're gonna row that dumbbell back, keep nice and tight. Before you row, retract your shoulder blade, and then row. Okay, I don't need you reaching all the way down. Stay nice and steady. Don't open up with your hips. Make sure that you're locked and loaded when you do this one. All right, as you guys could have guessed, we have to include the sled. So we are doing sled drag. Uh, I love a drive, that one's super amazing. I just thought I would mix it up a little bit. And I chose this one because this is really great for your quads uh, and also the, the smaller muscles around the knee, just building up the knee joint, the structural tissue. So you're gonna be here, squat down, arms extended, and you're gonna walk backwards, slow and controlled. Really squeeze your glutes when you do it as well, but just drive off. Make sure you go toe to heel when you do it. Slow and controlled, as I said. Um, you can load it up if you want. You can always you know, get a drive in there as well. But this is really great, as I keep saying, for that front part of your leg. And snowboarding, it always like cooks my quads. So build them up, do something a little bit more functional where you can get a lot of knee benefit from it. All right, we're going shoulder tap push-ups. Once again, chose this because there's a great element of stability, a little bit more full body. Um, really keep your core tight. Just gonna tap, tap, push-up. If you can't do push-ups, you can always drop to your knees or you can just start with push-ups or you can just start with shoulder taps, whichever you need to. If you can combine them, combine them. Slow and controlled if this is easy. 
put a weight on your back. All right, we gotta get a little bit of mobility in there. So we are doing world's greatest. This one kind of gives a little bit of everything. So one foot in front, uh, opposite hand down. Same leg that's forward is the arm or the elbow that's kind of reaching towards the instep. Open it up, follow it with your eyes. Hold it for a second at the top and the bottom. This is a great stretch, feels really nice. Important that we're not super tight when we're trying to lift and in general. So many people don't do enough mobility or stretching. So make sure you definitely get some mobility in. We do um, some type of mobility before every single workout. And I promise it will make the difference. All right, so we are doing some abs. Really, you can do any type of core training. And when I say core, core involves, you know, front and back, different types of movement, not just your traditional like crunches, sit-ups, that stuff that just works kind of aesthetics. So make sure you're getting some more dynamic things. So, I chose for this video TRX fallouts and then TRX skiers. So we're going to start with fallouts. You're going to be here, um, hands in the TRX. You're going to let your hips fall. You're going to extend and return. So everything goes through your core. I'm not really using my shoulders much. Big thing is to let your hips fall through um, and then keep your torso straight like a plank of wood, right? You don't want to be, oh God, that hurts. You don't want to be there. You don't want to be here, right? Everything goes together. And then we're doing TRX skiers. So we'll move the pad up here. You're going to be putting your feet. Okay. I'm not a wimp. I don't need a pad. We're going to be putting our feet in the TRX. Hands out here. And then we're going to be going side to side. Contract through the core. Make sure you're nice and controlled. Don't be swinging everywhere. When it comes to abs, well and steady wins the race. All right, so we got a med ball rainbow slam. So we're gonna go split stance. You start with the med ball here, load it towards your hip, rotate, follow through, big slam. I love this one because it's a huge stability element. Going split stance, once again, you use a lot of core as you do this here. Power at the top. Uh, you can do anything with med ball. Really, it's a great full body depending on what you do. Uh, great core, but as I just mentioned, stability aspect of this, the rotational aspect. I love doing this one for our snowboarders. All right, we are doing a single arm lamb on press. So you can start square if you want to build some strength or if you're new to this, core stays tight, slight bend in the knees. I like to even push up on my toes to really build up the foot ankle strength. So here, we just drive it up. Make sure you lean into it, right? We're not leaning back. Lean into it. Uh, really try to use your, your shoulders as well as I like to use my back to press it up bring it down. This is great for rotation of the scaps. Uh, and if that's easy or I just prefer split stance, right, we go here and we can drive it up this way. So I love this exercise. Core stays nice and tight. Make sure front knee doesn't track in. Make sure we don't lose our balance. So everything has to work when we're doing the lamb line. So that's a great upper body exercise that incorporates um, a whole stability element. All right, so box jumps. Um, love box jumps. I love any type of plow magic or power exercise. I just chose box jumps um, because you know most places have some type of box. If you can't do box jumps, you can do tuck jumps. Something as simple as a pogo. I think I've mentioned that on some of our other snowboarding videos. Um, so literally, you're gonna get a box and you're gonna jump up. You can do it as many different ways as you want, or you can go repetitive. You can go like for five, straight up and down. You can go for height. You can do whatever you want, small ones, really fast. The point is to get your body working as one unit, right? We load it, we jump, produce power, produce rapid um, force. Very important, great for stability, core. Um, jumping is one of the best things that people can do, and people definitely don't do it enough. So any type of jumping, um, we just threw out box jumps, but literally any type of jumping, just make sure you're including it. All right, we are doing some stability stuff specifically. So we've got a boasted ball. I have it flipped on the, um, what's that called? The squishy bubble side. The, huh? Bubble. The bubble side. So I'm standing on the flat. I think it makes it a little bit harder. It does make it a little bit harder. Um, so you can just start off by balancing here. If you can't even do this, you can put it back on the flat side and balance on the bubble side. Uh, if you can do that, you know, you can do some different things. You can balance like single leg on there. 
you can go side to side, or something that we like to do is to include some type of external element. So like Spence has a tennis ball, so like toss a tennis ball, toss it back, uh, even a med ball, make it a little bit like hard to reach, so you kind of have to reach a little bit to move. There's a lot of other stability devices that other um, gyms and people have that make it even harder. So use what whatever is at your level. You can even make this harder. I could do it, you know, one leg, trying to catch that tennis ball. Maybe not super well, but okay. You get the idea. So anything stability, love the Bosu. Um, check out some of our older videos too. We have some designated videos for stability training for snowboarding. Um, with a bunch of stuff similar to this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. I notice a lot of you guys watch but don't subscribe. So it really, really helps us out, especially as we're trying to grow, trying to get out there, we're moving into this new gym. So um, we love connecting with you guys. We love the support. We really appreciate it. We love the comments. So thank you so much for all of it. None of this would be possible if it wasn't for, you know, everybody we train, all of our online stuff. Um, and uh, just the support from all of you guys. So I appreciate it. Spencer appreciates it. He's, he's nodding. Um, all right, we'll catch you guys in the next one.